Hi and welcome. In this video, I want to go through how to solve the weighted interval scheduling problem with a dynamic programming approach. And in the next video, I will implement an algorithm in Python. So the problem description is that we're given a list of jobs, which all have a starting, finish, and a profit or weight associated with it. And the goal is that we want to find the subset of these jobs with the maximum weight uh, maximum total weight, where each job is disjoint, which means that the jobs cannot occur at the same time. The notation we'll use is that for a job I, we have a starting time, finish time, and a weight. For a very quick and simple example, uh, we consider three jobs. So if we consider taking the first job, that means that we cannot pick job two because they overlap. And if we pick job one, then we can still pick job three. So a total total weight will be two. Or we consider taking job two for a total weight of three. But then we cannot pick job one or job three. So in this case, we take the second job for a total weight of three, which is greater than two. So if we're going to solve this problem using dynamic programming, an idea is that we assume that we only look at the last job. So the last job meaning we have sorted the jobs by finish time and we look at the last job with the latest finishing time. Then either we pick that job or we don't. So that sounds simple. Let's examine it in a little bit more detail. In case one that we pick it, well then we need to remove all overlapping jobs and we need to compute a solution for the subproblem of the jobs left. In case two, we don't pick it. Well, then we compute the optimal solution for the subproblem with n minus one items left. So it becomes easy to see that if we have solved the subproblems, then we can easily just examine the two choices. Well, pick it or don't pick it, but that assumes that we have solved the subproblems. So uh, this suggests a dynamic programming approach. We can solve uh, the, we can solve it by recursively looking for j equals 1, 2, up to n uh, for the subproblems. And we can define op j to be maximum weight that can be achieved by selecting the jobs from the first j intervals. And we need to uh, define a help function that uh, is useful for removing overlapping intervals. So we let p of j be the largest index i such that f of i is less than or equal to s of j. So what this means is that if the finish time is less than or equal to the starting time of job j, that means that they don't overlap, right? If the finish time for something is greater than the starting time, that means that they overlap. So since we have sorted it by, we have sorted it by finish time, if we take the largest index, that means that we will get the job, job I, that is closest to job J. So this, jo uh, this function is useful to remove overlapping jobs, but let us understand this function a little bit better with an example. So consider if we look at job 1, then there are no previous jobs, so P of 1 is just 0. Looking at job 2, then we notice here that the finish time of job one is greater than the starting time of job two, which means that they overlap and P of two is also zero. For job three, we notice also that the finish time of both job one and job two is greater than the starting time of job three. So P of three is also zero. And now considering job four, we see that, well, the finish time, I mean, uh, it overlaps with job two and job three, but it doesn't overlap with job one. So P of four is equal to one. And for the last one, or let's just look at one more because I think you get the, the idea. So for job five, we notice that, well, it overlaps with job four and job three, but not with job two or job one. So we remember that we take the largest index and since two is greater than one, then P of five is 2. 
now that we understand the p function and also the the two cases that can arise either we pick the item or we don't let's combine the two into a recursion formula and remember that we want to pick whichever is best and best meaning whichever results in the maximum total weight so we define op j to be the maximum of picking job j then we get the the weight of job j plus opt of the remaining intervals when we have removed the ones that overlap so we get opt of p of j or the second option which is just disregarding item j and looking at the j minus one items so we want to have whichever is the maximum of those two and remember that when we have a recursion formula we always need to have a base case and the base case is that opt of zero is zero So let's gain some more intuition by seeing how we use this algorithm on the same example. So we form a table um, for each job, one, two, eight, and also the, uh, the, the P of J, we want to find those values. And the goal is then to calculate opt of J with the end goal of finding opt of N, where N is equal to eight items in this case. So note also that all jobs here are sorted by finished times. Um, and the recursion formula, which we saw on a previous slide. So filling out the weights, which are just given uh, in, the, in the problem. Then we want to find P of J, which is, uh, which we calculated on a previous slide. But just to reiterate, let's say that we look at say that we look of uh, job seven then we notice here that all of these three overlap right because the finish time of each of those are greater than the starting time but for job three two and one the finish time is uh, less than or equal to the starting time of this and p of j is gives us the great uh, the greatest index i so p of seven would be three Right, so P of 7 is 3. And now to find opt of J, we start from the beginning. We want to find opt of 1. So opt of 1 is the maximum of taking the job uh, job 1, which has a total weight of 3, uh, plus uh, opt of P of 1. And I notice here also that there's a parenthesis missing here. But anyways, so opt of P of 1, P of 1, we see is just 0. So we get the maximum of 3 plus opt of 0, opt of 0 is the base case, which is just 0. So opt of 1 is the maximum of 3 plus 0, comma 0, so it will just be 3. For the second one, opt 2 is the maximum of 2 plus opt of P of 2, or opt of 1. So up P of 2 is 0 as well. And opt of 1, which is the previous item, it's 3. So we get the maximum of 2 or 3. So either we pick item 2, then we cannot pick item 1. I mean item job 1. Um, so we see here that we want to pick job 1 because it has a greater weight. So the up 2 will also have a value of 3. So similarly for the rest of these values in the table, we simply use the same uh, recurrence formula and calculate the rest. And uh, what we can see, for example, is that when this value changes, we note that this means that we pick item, uh, I mean, job 6. So job 6 has a optimal uh, i mean has a weight of five and then we consider which are the ones we can choose if if we remove if we remove the overlapping ones so we pick job six then we have p of six which is one right we only have job one we can pick which has a opt one of three so it means that we take this one five plus the job one we get a total of eight and we can see here that we don't want to since the values here are the same 
we don't want to pick job 7 or job 8, but rather we ignore those and we pick job 6 instead. And then remember that the goal is always to return opt of n, which is the maximum weight for all of the items. Right? So in the previous slide, we saw that opt of 8 is, is 8. And then one might ask, well, we want to find which, I mean, how do we find which, which jobs or items we, we picked? Well, we use a backtracking. So we check if, if the wj plus opt of p of j is greater than opt of j minus 1. So if we take that item, if that results in a to uh, total weight that is greater, if we ignore that item, that means that we add the item j to the optimal solution. And we instead look at opt of p of j, else we ignore this item and we look at the prob uh, subproblem of the opt of j minus 1. So uh, a quick look at the time complexity. Remember that we first sorted by finish time, sorting is n log n. Then to find the p of j for each of the j values has a time complexity of O of n log n uh, with a clever use of binary search. Um, the, I think the straightforward approach would be O of n squared. So be careful when implementing that one. To find uh, the maximum maximal weight, assuming that we have the, the p vector and, and that it's sorted, this is a linear time, uh, this is linear time. And also to backtrack to find optimal items, this is uh, also linear. So the total would be uh, O of n log n. Now that we understand the actual algorithm and how it works, we're ready to implement it in Python. So ch uh, check out the next video if you want to see uh, how we actually implement this algorithm.